Rain. Some people love it. I always hated it because I can't go rollerblading when the streets are slippery, otherwise it becomes a concrete slip and slide. Depending on where you live, it's unavoidable. Depending on who you are, you might have glasses. Maybe from reading a book too hard, or reading your phone too hard, or from reading the sun too hard. Maybe it's not your fault. Some days I go for a nice trot outside and the air is full of my tears of never being able to rollerblade. Sometimes that moisture sticks to my glasses. It's fine for a bit, but it reaches a point where I can no longer see anything, and I don't necessarily enjoy that. In the wise words of Maya Angelou, if you don't like something, change it. Well, obviously, I couldn't just make it stop raining. No amount of chanting, rain, rain, go away, or angrily looking up at the sky and waving my fist would make it stop. And no amount of using my heat gun on the concrete will ever make it dry enough for my roller skates. I needed something simpler, something elegant, something intelligent. So I came up with this. How did this happen? How did this great machine come into existence and bless planet Earth with its presence? I'll show you. On the surface, it seemed relatively easy. Find an old pair of glasses, glue servos to them, servo controller, bada bing bada boom, done. But of course it wasn't actually that easy. I started with making a battery pack since the motors needed power of some sort and although I could have powered my invention from the wall, I managed to find an old pair of glasses that were already destroyed so weren't of any value to anyone at this point. I attached the servo and then did some basic wiring to sync up the motor. I made some wipers and voila! It worked okay, with a bare minimum of functionality actually being accomplished and having power and movement to all the areas that needed it. The wipers swung up and down, but they didn't brush all the water off. The wiper, instead of being flush with the glass, was hovering only a few micrometers above the glass. The electronics were unreliable. Often they just randomly turned on and off. This was unacceptable. I could not allow such a failure to exist by my hands. I had no other choice. But to start over. I decided to take an entirely different approach this time around. I used what remained of the ashes of the last project to start the baseline for this upgraded version. This one features two motors, but it had to be programmed. 
I was extremely conservative with the design and attempted to be as minimalist as possible. Personally, I think this is one of the most attractive things I've ever created. I believe that this is the ultimate testament to human ingenuity and perseverance. With this invention, I've conquered nature. Maybe now I can go outside and actually know how it feels to enjoy the rain. Perhaps the technology that we made that separates us from nature will bring us closer to appreciating it in the end.